The House of Representatives voted early Saturday morning to approve President Joe Biden's $1.9 trillion pandemic aid package, a major step toward enacting the first legislative priority of the new administration as the devastating fallout from the spread of COVID-19 has left Americans in dire need of further relief. The final vote tally was 219 to 212. Two Democrats broke ranks and voted against the bill, Kurt Schrader of Oregon and Jared Golden of Maine. The bill did not pass with bipartisan support as no Republicans voted for it. Now that the bill has passed the House it will next go to the Senate. Related, here's what you can expect to get from the $1.9 trillion House stimulus making the effort more complicated, the Senate is expected to strip out a provision in the legislation increasing the federal minimum wage after the Senate parliamentarian ruled against including it under the procedure known as reconciliation, which Senate Democrats are using to pass the bill with a simple majority vote. The bill would then have to go back to the House for a separate vote before it could go to Biden to be signed into law. Biden on Saturday will deliver remarks praising the House for passing the bill as an important first step and double down on the importance of now passing it out of the Senate, according to a White House official. The package advanced by House Democrats also includes direct aid to small businesses, $1, 400 direct checks to Americans making less than $75,000 annually, an increase in the child tax credit, direct funding to state and local governments, funding for schools and more money for vaccine distribution. It had been expected to pass on a party-line vote as House Republicans urged their members to vote against the package and work to limit defections. Republicans have argued that the legislation overreaches and serves as a liberal wish list of agenda items and complain that they have been locked out of the process for crafting the measure. Democrats counter that they are willing to work with Republicans, but will not water down the plan and say they have a mandate to take sweeping action to address the pandemic now that they control Congress and the White House. House Speaker Nancy Pelosi had a narrow margin to pass the bill, but many members across the ideological spectrum did not have an appetite to torpedo the new administration's first major piece of legislation. Golden said in a statement Saturday that he voted against the bill because he won't support trillions more in funding that is poorly targeted or in many cases not necessary at this moment in time. He expressed concern over individual provisions like extending the child tax credit, arguing that the policies should be considered under regular order but don't belong in an emergency spending bill, and about the compounding effect of the spending decisions of the past year.